Gil says there's a city car in the garage. Hmm. How you reckon? The old coup wouldn't come out of hiding for anything less. So how's it going, boys? What can I do you for? So what'll it be today? Won't be a sec. I dare say I could make this at camp. Things I can tell you. Y'all be sure not to overeat. There's more dangerous things prowling about these days. Sorry about the wait. Ain't she pretty? She's almost too pretty for the road. She's back! We should all get a picture with her. All the more reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa like grandkid. Now that she's all polished up and ready for the road, would you care to take her for a little test drive, Noct? Sure. Why not? And I needn't remind you to exercise caution. Oh, while well, I gotcha. If y'all want to fix her up before you roll out, let me know. What are y'all after today? Do you fancy? Well, here's what I can do for her. How about the decals? Anything you like? How about the decals? Anything you like? How about the decals? Anything you like? Be seeing ya! Time to go. All right. is like no garage ever. You know? One would expect no less of the fares to the crown. Oh, I'll miss it once this road trip's over with. There's no reason you can't pay them a visit anytime you please. I'm sure Cindy will be glad to look after your car. Oh, right. So, that's what this is about. If you need, I could always lend you the regalia. Whoa! Huh. Uh, thanks for the offer, but once we're back in the Crown City, I think I'd better score my own wheels.
Well, I'd say that's far enough for today. Might be wise to leave the driving to me until we found our bearings out here. Y'all came all the way out here to deliver the goods. Well, thank you kindly. We'll take it out of the trunk, so y'all just sit tight. Hmm? Uh, Umbra. Bringing us stuff. Had a boy. A dog can really track a scent. Certainly knows how to find us. How do you always know, boy? <sighs> just a sec. Nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh yeah, sill blossoms. So, hmm? I have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure, that's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. All set. Take care out there. I know. You're not gonna tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? <sighs> you don't say. Now that our work's done, let's see ourselves to Golden. Uh, hold on a sec, sir. I found an envelope addressed to Meldasio inside the package. Meldasio? The Hunter HQ? Yes, sir. The head hunter ought to be around here somewhere. Mind making one more delivery? What do you say, Noct? Might as well while we're in the neighborhood. Look who it is. I really owe you boys one. Make that two. <laughs> Can't seem to catch a break. Yeah. yeah, looks like they found another one. Wait, uh, found another what? Tag. Us hunters keep them on our person at all times as identification. What, in case you forget who you are? More like so no one else forgets who they were. Hunters lead a life of danger. Sometimes these tags are the only things that make it back in one piece. It's our job to deliver them to the families of the fallen. As it were, I came out here to do just that. 
If y'all happen to find any tags lying around out there, would you do me a favor and send them my way? Yeah, sure. Word is somebody spotted a tag around these parts. Try asking the local tipster. He'll point you in the right direction. Those tags are heavy stuff. They certainly carry emotional weight. We'd best find and return them. And give the families peace of mind. Let's start by following up on that hot tip. Welcome to the crow's nest. Can I take your order? Have a look at the menu. Can do. Oh yeah, here it comes. I dare say I could make this at camp. Thanks for your business. I can eat a horse. So, uh, you thinking to fairy tale Lady Lunafreya back to the Crown City? Nah, no need to rush to happily ever after. Wow. Still can't believe you're actually tying the knot, dude. How does it feel now that it's finally happening? Fine, I guess. Ah, come on, you can't fool me. Any guy would be over the moon to marry her. No big deal. Yeah, whatever.